Greetings, YouTube. Um, last night, my wife and I watched The Bee Movie with uh, Jerry Seinfeld as the main character, um, Barry uh, Benson, the bee. Uh, now, this is a pure fantasy animated film that deals with bees in their colony, and it has almost no bearing on how bees actually work. So I kind of throw that out the, out the door. Frequently in the past, I've seen a lot of the animated insect films have at least tried to bring some of the tropes of actual insect culture, this really doesn't seem to work that way at all. They just kind of, there's just animated bees instead of people. Um, but it was still entertaining. And one of the things I enjoyed about this, first of all, it was PG, as opposed to PG-13 or G. So it was, it was, it was, so it had a little bit more room to, for plot lines and things like that. And it integrated qu quite a bit of humor that was completely over the heads of kids, but it was integrated so smoothly that it didn't feel out of place, it didn't feel like it stuck out, but it's definitely like, it was references to The Graduate. No kid is going to get a reference to The Graduate, but it's in this film. Um, so that was very entertaining. The characters in the film, the supporting cast members, were very enjoyable. Um, Patrick Warburton did the voice of Ken, um, who was just very entertaining. He's so good. His voice is so wonderful. And he emotes so well in these goofy characters. And the character in the film kind of looked like him, too, which was which was kind of nice. So it was almost like you were getting to watch him in the film, um, as opposed to him playing another character. Uh, and uh, the visuals were good, very solid. I liked the vehicles. They had kind of a Susian vibe to them. Um, and I liked the way they presented a kind of caricature of the media and news um, casters in particular. Um, I quite enjoyed that. Um, so from top to bottom, it was a well-executed, well-presented film with some nice humor. The only thing I didn't find satisfying with it was the ending. There wasn't, there wasn't a really successful build up, the classy, build up to the anti-climax, then it dips, and then it moves to the climax. I didn't really feel that anti-climax dip climax pattern in this. It kind of went anti-climax and then it just kind of plateaued. And I don't think we got a, the, 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 there wasn't the delivery at the end that it could have had. And now an animated film, I think that really did a really incredibly good job of that would be Wreck-It Ralph which had an incredibly good anti-climax dip and then climax, um, where Ralph completely and utterly sacrifices himself. He achieves a, a, a complete submersion of the ego and enters into the very state of nirvana. He achieves Buddhist resurrection, essentially, by sacrificing himself. He has seen through the veil of his own reality I really think other people have underestimated how, the, how really deep some of the elements in Cricket Ralph are. Um, but, talking about the B-movie. So the B-movie to me was un, had an unsatisfying end. Um, there were some world-shaping changes in the film. I'm not going to spoil them for you. Um, that I, didn't think, I don't think they really played them out the way they should have. And they could have done it even in a PG film. They could have done it with more depth and more impact. And they didn't take that because I don't know why. Maybe the writers didn't want to do that. Um, but they should have, I think. And I think the movie suffered because they didn't take that opportunity and it suffered because they did that. the ending just kind of plateaued for me. And then it was over. I guess you can't have everything right. Where would you put it? Um, so anyone who out there has seen the B-movie, what did you think? I can remember seeing the trail, the trail for this, the live-action trail, trailer for it years ago. And it came out, and you know, kind of got lukewarm reception. Um, so I never bothered to see it. Then I picked up a cheap copy, brand new. It was still sealed. No one ever even opened the thing. Um, real cheap. And so i like, what the heck, I'll pick it up and I'll see it. I've kind of always wanted to see this. And I kind of find, I kind of enjoy Jerry Fein Seinfeld's stand-up. I never watched his his um, 
series at all, so I have no real reference there. But uh, I enjoyed his stand-up, and he's got a good voice, and uh, I knew that they'd have a good cast. Chris Rock is in here. I didn't know that. I thought that was a pleasant surprise. And John Goodman, that was also another pleasant surprise. I didn't know he was in here. Um, so I had a good time watching this, and uh, I, I, I really enjoy watching how filmmakers use animation as a vehicle for discussing our world. And in some aspects, the B-movie did that well, and in some aspects, it failed. So if you've seen it, tell me what you think. Did you enjoy the B-movie? Was it the bee's knees?